We're here with Ethan Marshall after Carson Newman falls in double overtime. Ethan, uh, the ground game, though, seemed to be a, a big fixture for your group. What can you say about how the offensive line and the running backs were able to chug out nearly 500 yards of total offense? Uh, well, we have a great group of guys behind us. Our whole mentality as an offensive line group is that every game, every snap, every play, it's on us. Every time, if we want yardage, we got to go do it ourselves. Not to say that the receivers on the outside can't do it, but we take it personally that that ball's moving, and that was a big thing for us to move the ball today. In a game like this that is so back and forth, up and down, uh, how did you all stay level despite the fact that you didn't have a lead until overtime? Uh, it's just knowing that although the scoreboard might not match what's going on in the field, we're knowing that we're moving the ball. We're They really didn't have much of an answer for our run game, and we knew that we're communicating well and it's just picking each other up when things seem a little rough. First game of the season, uh, the offense struggled to get going. Last week, maybe frustrating in the first half. It felt like today you all were able to move the ball consistently throughout the game. Uh, why did you see that happening? Uh, it just goes all the way back to practice. Our preparation, uh, getting on each other, do everything full speed, get our assignments right. If something goes wrong and we have a question about it or if we're iffy about something, we go to Coach Ray and we talk about it. We talk amongst ourselves. Uh, Tyrell Raglam, he's right, right next to me, and he helps me out a lot. I help him a lot, and it's just, it's just like that all the way down the line. We talk to our running backs. They help us. We give each other feedback. They give us feedback, and that's why it's meshing. What's the message for this group after a game like this? Uh, it's on us. You know, it's one of the things where bad things happen, and if you want good things to happen, you, you got to go make it happen. You can't play around with a team like this, and as a result, they snuck one out on us. And we got a big game next Saturday, and we're coming with everything we got. Final question I'll ask for you. Despite all the things that happened in this game, some mistakes that happened, and you trailing most of the game, what's it say about this group that you were able to fight back, tie this game, send it to overtime? Uh, at the start of fall camp, uh, Coach Persley brought up a quote from um, Ken Sparks, the old legendary head coach that used to coach here. And it, he would say, if you're breathing, you're fighting. And that's something we've – uh, gathered around and we take the heart and every time we step on the field whether that be practice whether that be meetings or a game if we're breathing we're fighting and we're fighting for yards we're fighting to get things done really appreciate the time best luck next week thank you that's Ethan Marshall